Hey folks, Dave here, and I like disassembling knives. Here to do just that to the Cold Steel Fenwolf. This is a triad lock knife. I believe actually the least expensive one that is available. What that means is that this is essentially a very fancy lockback. So where a normal lockback looks something like this, and pinches the blade between the blade, the uh, the lock, and the pivot. This locks the pivot, locks the blade open between the blade, the pivot, the lock bar, and the stop pin. Stop pin just a little bit more robust than your average stop pin. This is cold steel. They do strong things. It's called the triad because it's three points of contact instead of two. And we are going to take a look inside. That's not big enough, but that's just right. We're going to start by taking down the pivot. No real reason why we should, but it is always nice to see a subtle yet uh, present use of... I'm also going to open you. Present use of Loctite. That's what the blue striping there is. The pivot here is a T10. Yes. The body screws are T6. But again, they are all well and perfectly adequately Loctited, which I can certainly appreciate. Before I open this, Lockbacks, be very careful disassembling a lockback knife because they are a pain to put back together. I don't really expect the triad to be any easier. So let's go on our discovery mission to venture into unknown worlds and not terribly destroy their local ecosystems unless I deem it necessary at the time because I have a cool Roman Emperor name. Tiberius was a Roman Emperor, right? Sounds Roman. Okay, there we go. So this is a lockback. Oh, and first thing that I'm noticing is actually that plate right there for the screws. I didn't realize the screws, I haven't changed the pocket clip on this, but I didn't realize that the pocket screw, pocket clip screws were that long, and that inset into the, uh, did I know that this was? Hmm. And that inset into uh, steel, you know what I'm saying, steel, steel, steel strong, steel stronger than plastic. Okay, so that is the difference between this and a lockback. This Delica, for instance, does not have that one piece which is just a big chunk of stainless steel set into the frame, that hole right there. So that's what makes this so tough, the toughest lock in the world. And now I'm going to do the next part, which is stupid, and I don't want to. I'm going to take everything apart. I don't want to because that means that I have to put it back together, which is the hassle, but also the reason you're here, I guess. All right, that's the middle, that's the blade stop, and that's the hinge pin. Okay, so what we're getting. Oh, these are double layered. Are you double layered? Why is only one of them double layered? One of the, or both of them double layered? Okay, they both are, but why? Okay, what, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about. The washer, the goldish looking part there is called phosphor bronze. The whitish part is called uh, Teflon. So if you hear bronze washers versus plastic washers, that's the conversation being had. Uh, I had thought that some sometimes they get doubled up. Certainly not uncommon, just rare-ish for it to happen to only one side, which is what I thought had happened. That is your explanation of my brain fart. And if the blade looks weird, it's because it's a Scandi, which I will talk about at a later time when I understand what I'm talking about better. Apparently chisel, ground, chisel grinds aren't as dumb as I had thought they were. That's interesting, though. 
Why is that deformed? I need to stop calling things deformed when they're probably perfectly adequate, but there's no apparent reason for it to be. That's interesting. I don't know why that's the case. But yeah, there's a little little bump there. It's machine different. Interesting. Uh, Chisel grinds aren't as bad as I had thought. Somebody, I am so sorry, I forgot your name, but down on the bottom, uh, really got me thinking more about them in terms of, like, Emerson knives. Uh, pause for a photo off. And now I am actually even more excited than I was to, at some point, be able to get my hands on an actual Emerson. Something I would very much like. They have a uh, Emerson Quaken in the, uh... Sax, I think is how you pronounce the uh, big Warncliffe one. Okay, so how this works, this is your spring. So on a back lock, that doing right there, it's this spring, this very strong just piece of sprung metal that is allowing us to do that. And it goes in that direction, I think. I think it goes in that direction. Yeah, because that would put it under pressure. We are now going to build the rest of it also. That is uneven. There's grind lines down there. Probably to give it better texture, it's just I wasn't expecting that to not be perfectly symmetrical. Sym symmetrical? I don't know what hiccup sound I just made. But, eh. Do do do. And this also is not symmetrical which I was expecting. The lines probably give it a lot better grip. Well, that's not fully necessary at the moment. The lines probably give it a lot better grip in general. Uh, what am I doing? Take you out. And now we put you back in. There we go. And that, not that. That is a captured pivot. Good for you, cold steel. Strange that it's upside down. Usually the flat side faces down. On every other knife I can think of, the flat side faces down, but nobody's gonna stop you from spreading your wings and flying, you peacock of a knife company. As long as the pivot goes back in the hole. Which is something that I need it to do. I would very much like for it to go in. And now we are going to put the washers on like that. I don't... Ah! Still stuck on my finger. It's gonna eat me. I don't remember exactly how the washers came off. That would probably be fairly important to remember. To have taken note on but I didn't and it probably won't matter anyway because this knife is very simple and fine and also essentially a lockback which is not really intended for its beautiful action pivot stay on this has been a very sing-song episode for some reason aha A vast. I watched Pirates of the Caribbean recently. Great movie. The first one is. So now we just keep putting more and more layers of separation between the blade and the thing surrounding it. Uh, crappy pivot oil. It's not crappy. It does its job perfectly adequately. And then put the sandwich back on. This is so much easier than putting this together back was. Spider-Co Little Matriarch, and for terrible, awful reasons, you can probably see that I tried that I had to put this thing together multiple times. Was not near as smooth a process as this has been so far. Because we have no guarantees that it still won't try to eat me. The pivot, I think, is trying to eat me right now. So let's open this back up and see why the pivot popped out. I need you to open, though. Uh, 
So yeah, this is Welcome to the Triad Lock. This is Cold Steel Proprietary. This is probably something I should have explained up top. Cold Steel Proprietary, so you will never see another company, or at least not until it goes public. Uh, see another company doing something quite like this. Backlocks, obviously, are just part of knife design. It is the... I guess the blade stop that makes it, oh, oops, you should not have come. Uh, the pivot point came with it. So we don't want that, but it's currently locked in place. Let's go back in. And then the washer came out. Give that a quick rub down to clean it. Stay. Don't move. Come here. Pivot. Perfectly adequate response to the situation at hand. You have extra lines on you to keep you in place. Please follow the instruction of those lines. Alright, now that everything's cool and good. Everything's cool and good, right guys? No, why are you... Pivot! Pivot! Alright, don't ever do this. Aha! Unless it works, in which case, do it every day. Yeah, let's get you off screen. The pivot was upsetting me. I decided to upset it in return. I am a petty man with petty problems. All right. Blue Loctite, don't use red. Because blue, you can take apart one day. It won't leave you of its own accord, but if push comes to shove, you can kick it out of the house. Red, though? Red, you're never getting rid of. So now we put all of the screws back in, continuing to operate an open, sharp, pointed blade currently very near my own belly button. Well, that's just street smarts. It's an advanced technique. They don't teach you that in little elementary school. I don't know where you learn knife handling. Cub Scouts. I had a tote and chip once. Tote and chit. C-H-I-T. It's not cursing. Although we did have fun with it. Uh, oh crap. What did I do? Okay. Did I fix it? Yay, I fixed it! Okay, so. Lockup's good. Lockup is perfect. On this day, mark it. The... 18th of February, or whenever you're watching it, we have disassembled, discovered, explored, and reassembled, and cleaned, and reassembled a cold steel triad lock, specifically the Finwolf folder. If this has been helpful to you, let me know down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know that as well. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.